All right, hello. Welcome to Capsule Computer's E3 coverage. We're covering the Microsoft E3 conference tonight. This is our little live commentary. Hey, everyone. And we've, yeah, he, with me tonight is Linkage AX. What's up? Dustin Spencer. Hello. Simon Wolf. Hola, como esta? <laughs> Whatever that means. Spike R. Konnichiwa. Whatever that means. <laughs> and Michael Irving. How you going? <laughs> Whatever that means. Yeah, how, how is everyone? What's going on? How's everyone? Tired pretty good, pretty excited. I'm, sure. I'm excited, but I'm tired as fuck. For, for those that don't know, <laughs> it is 2.15am in Australia right now, and I'm sure I'm not the only one who's feeling a little exhausted. Not me. But I'm, 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 I'm so popped up at like massive amounts of Red Bull. I'm fine. How are you guys? I I'm have been readjusting <laughs> my. Well, how are you guys doing? I've been Calm re- yourself down. Yes, I've been readjusting my biological clock just for this event. That's probably not a bad idea. I've been up since like 7:30 because I got up for the uh, the Nintendo pre E3 show this morning. Oh God. Some of hey. us had to work today. Some. Nah. <laughs> all right, all right. Let's just let's talk about Microsoft. Now, let's go. Let's go around. Do a little roundtable predictions, sort of thing. Now, linkage. Mm? What do you think we will see? All right, uh, Microsoft this year are going to have a massive media conference. It won't be as good as Nintendo's because nobody's ever is, but it will still be <laughs> massive. This year, Microsoft will be showing the future of console gaming, where they will be unveiling the Microsoft 735,000 Xbox device, and it will have, you know, a bunch of games under development for it, where we won't actually see footage of those games, but we will be told that a new IP will be released for it, and as well as a continuation of the Halo saga. Um... For the current iteration of the Xbox 360, we will also be seeing some Kinect titles, um, probably good ones. I'm hoping um, we'll be yeah, seeing good ones. Yeah, <laughs> such we'll... a thing exists. <laughs> Surely that's a self-defeating prophecy. Yes, um, we'll also be seeing uh, Halo 4 in some form. Um, I want to see Microsoft talk about the Kinect for Windows, which is supposed to be coming out at some point. Um, <laughs> oh. That might be integrated no, with Windows 8, so I'm hoping to see something like that as well. That'd be so, yeah, interesting. That, that's it for me. All right, Dustin. Well, as far as it goes, we're going to, of course, see Halo 4. A lot of information. That's probably going to be the star of Microsoft's entire show, at least their grand reveal. You're going to see Kinect Sports 3, I imagine, as well as a Dance Central 3, because it is Microsoft. <laughs> and they've wow. got to squeeze the last bit of life out of Rare, and Harmonix <laughs> for that matter. Uh, let's see here. We also you'll probably see about two other Connect titles that will be random, like kind of like we had with Connect Disneyland Adventures. Uh, and Sesame Street, definitely a throw towards yeah. a family-friendly audience. Oop. <laughs> Ubisoft will be in attendance as I, uh, I'm literally about to p- press publish on an article right now because a lot of their screenshots got in quotation mark leaked. So oh, yeah. Cell Ubisoft with their leaks. Yes, leaked. And not <laughs> really given out. Coincidentally, these high quality HD images just got leaked. They Someone are just... very HD, yes. <laughs> <laughs> they, they coincidentally just got leaked onto the internet. So, such good quality as well. You so know. either Ubisoft is, you know, full of it or we've got like the most the most talented camera guy to take those shots ever. Oh yeah, definitely. <laughs> He must oh, have a sure. phone. So yeah, <laughs> that that's pretty much the event in a nutshell. So I mean, there'll probably be a few other nice releases as well, but that th- you're mainly going to see Halo and Connect. Mhm. Mm. All right, Simon Wolf. Uh, like the other guys said, like this, they're going to focus mainly on Halo Four because that's like that. That's what they use to sell Xboxes, like the original Xboxes. They're just going to pump the crap out of it. But yeah. it would be nice to see like some other newer stuff. Like Something somehow, <laughs> if they could, if they could integrate 
like Xbox Live Chat with through the computer. Like mm. they should announce something like that this year. Yeah. Mm. Definitely. Anything else, Simon? No, not really. Spike. All right. Well, all right. Microsoft. I think. Well, considering Microsoft always pretty much starts the E3 conferences, uh, you know, it's always first out of the gate. I would expect it to try to show off something that will differentiate it from uh, from the competition. Like usually, what Microsoft have done in the past is come out with some sort of surprise thing at the very end, like something that people aren't really expecting or something that people were semi expecting like take last year for example like we all knew that the halo anniversary thing was coming but there was a lot of speculation up until maybe about half an hour beforehand about halo 4 so oh and speaking of which i think uh, i'm not sure about you guys but i think there might be a very slight possibility that they might show off halo 4 maybe um, oh maybe you know yeah you know maybe, I, I don't think i don't know man i don't it's know it's an absolute possibility <laughs> and um yeah uh, <laughs> As for a new console, though, or like a new system, I'm not. I I'm not sure if we're going to see a. If they do release something, they're not. It's not going to be hugely detailed. Like they'll basically yeah, do. Yeah, like, like I'm not, I'm not sold on. I'm not even sold on them announcing a new console yet. Yeah, they have to know. compete with Nintendo, man. Yeah, it's, but it's... Nintendo is not really. Nintendo hasn't really been a pace setter in the console game recently, and I just think that, you know, if anyone's going to make the the first the the first announcement of the of the of you know a, a slightly better next gen console, because let's face it, Nintendo consoles are always going to be like hardware wise nowhere near as strong as the Xbox or the or the PlayStation Three. So you can already tell that the next generation of consoles, whenever they're announced, will probably generally be a little stronger graphically and sound wise on uh the xbox and playstation yeah. that said it would be interesting to see something but i'm i'm more more particularly concerned about what sort of games are going to be showed off like i would like to see some stuff from uh let's see well obviously uh ubisoft a little bit of ea stuff um obviously activision is going to be there um i would We're like gonna to get see... a bunch yeah. of multi-platform shit yeah. Yeah. yeah i would love to see something from bioware particularly um and uh, maybe, maybe even Valve, even maybe Valve will, might make an appearance there. Hopefully, I'm pretty yeah. sure they've confirmed that Valve are only showing off like a Half-Life 2 death match or something. Ah. There was there was one other tiny little thing. I can't even remember what it was. But Valve aren't going to have anything interesting this year. Valve are the biggest cock teasers out. I'm telling you now. Yeah. I reckon if they had like a cardboard <laughs> thing up that said they... Half-Life 3 on it, people would line up for like seven and a half days. But they cock tease, <laughs> and isn't that what's what's important? Yeah, but yeah, that's, a, that's my two cents on this, on everything. I'm 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 hoping to be surprised. All right, Ervo. Um, well, there's not a whole lot left that no one's said yet. Um, Go with what you think, man. <laughs> I obviously I'm not a, Halo and a bunch of Connect titles that no one's going to care about, but they're going to tell us are really innovative anyway. Yep. And <laughs> then, um, oh, I forgot I, I forgot the new Gears game as well. Oh yeah, there's like. Are they doing another one already? You had your turn. That was leaked, happened. apparently, wasn't it? Yeah, apparently it's going to be about Baird and Coltrane in this one. Mm. You had your turn. Wait. <laughs> it doesn't. Yeah, I'm not really Go. fussed about that. I don't care about Halo too much. I'm kind of sick of that. <laughs> um, what I'd really like to see is a Kinect game that makes me actually want to buy a Kinect on my Xbox. That would be exactly. Nice. That's that's That'd the same. A real surprise. <laughs> Um, I have to agree with you there about that because honestly, I don't think there's any Connect game out right now that it's like a Child of Eden. Child of Eden yeah, that does one, not Child make me Eden, want a Connect. It made me want one. It, it did you makes get me one? want it, one, but it's not. It's, it's not one, one game. On its own. Did you did you get one linkage? Did yes, you get? It? Yes, I did. Did you? Does yeah. Child of Eden. And have you picked it up for anything else? Um, no. Yeah, should, exactly. I tried hacking it that... to get it to work on my computer, but I couldn't work it out, so I skipped. Uh, well, I'm the one who's always forced to to review the crappy stuff on the on the Connect. I got Star Wars Connect. Ugh. Hey, uh, yeah, hey. I would think um, the Gunstringer is probably the other one that looks interesting. Yeah, Gunstringer's nah, I'm not, okay. I'm not going to deny there is some some good game for Connect, but the vast majority is just absolute garbage. Shovelware. Shovelware yeah. that. Not even the Wii would grace itself no. with. Yeah, instead they give us Martian Panic. Oh my god, something happened! It went grey with an Xbox logo. Oh! Oh, here it is. Yep, I'm getting it too. 
Maybe something's happening. Be... It's still five yeah, minutes. Thanks. It's still five minutes out. It still got five minutes to go. I think it's streaming. just changing itself. Right. Well, Luke, 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 it's your turn. All right. You're the last one. Now I'm gonna. I'm gonna. Say, this is a long shot. I. I. I was guessing this last year, but I think we might see it again this year. Games for Connect. Hmm. Everyone else hear that? Five minute briefing. Yep. I think we're going to see some games for Connect. I, I I honestly don't know what else Microsoft could pull out of their sleeve. This come come on, what is what is there? What 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 have they got? They're going to have to do something surprising. Fine. New IP, come on. A new IP. Utilize fucking Link. Do you reckon if they had a new IP, don't you reckon it would have been leaked by now? The Microsoft they're really, they're pretty good at keeping things on the wraps. How often do you see Microsoft keeping things under wraps? Halo well, no 4, that really was their big thing. For the, no one really saw anything for like the uh, Xbox Slim thing for like until they announced it, did they? No, no but one how, there were rumors. How big a deal was the Xbox pictures. Slim? Oh, a remodel of the console. Come on. The Halo 4 was the, their biggest thing for last year, and that was leaked a freaking whole half hour earlier. Yeah, that's true. Well, that's an idiot. That's yeah, that's half an hour. It's not like years or like months ahead. So they they are pretty good at keeping things on the wrap. Yeah, well, I, I'll give them as that. If as, bad as, didn't, as if everyone didn't already predict that they were going to do Halo 4 anyway. So yeah, just, I don't know. I, I, I don't I can't really think of anything that Microsoft can do right now that will really blow me away. You know. I want to see them utilize Rareware and do something with Jet Force Gemini. You know that Actually, Jet that Force would be Gemini is an excellent game. Excellent game. I would love game. to see a new Jet Force Gemini. But you know hmm. they're not going to. I know. Mm. Because like I said, Microsoft I'm looking have, to be pleasantly surprised here. <laughs> they have misused Rare since day dot. And I they just bought it so Nintendo couldn't have them. Aside Pretty from much. Viva Pinata, but that was probably oh, going to be for a Nintendo Shut up about anyway. Viva Pinata. You and Jim Sterling can go suck each other's cocks. Yep. <laughs> you heard it here first, <laughs> it Dustin amazing. and Jim Sterling. Cocks. Mm. I'm going to go send him a tweet right now. Dustin Spencer wants to give you some collating. Fifteen mm. minutes in, and now I'm MA fifteen rating already. Huh. <laughs> yeah, the gaming podcast is now an adults only thing, so I'm pretty yeah, sure that's just, just your hosting. Just it. Yeah, it, of course it's with, with linkage. It's just you know, it's all about sex. sex? In Alexis's spirit. Alcohol. May I just say, Pox. <laughs> Pox, eh? Yeah. I'm gonna hit music. Yeah, I hear music. Music, playing. Anybody else think it oh. sounds like really annoying elevator music? Yes. This is like yeah, no, the elevator music like from 2015. I voted phone when you fucked up your bill or your service. <laughs> <and shit. Yeah. laughs> your call is I'm important about... to us. <laughs> yeah. Sure. Jesus Christ. I'm about 50 50 on them re- uh, providing a new console. Likewise. Well, yeah, I... It's going to be. I hope they do. I think they're going to. Either way, it, whether they do or they don't, I don't. I don't think it's going to be anything negative towards them. You know, like if they reveal some reveal something new, well, the more power to them. If they if they don't, no loss because there's always next year. And you know, what 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 have they got to prove right now? Mm. They're, they're ahead of, they're at the top of the game. Yeah, they're at the top. They're at the top. Because Sony is dying. Not dying, but they, they their last year didn't do so well. Sony is in the financial shit house. They are. Okay, yeah. <laughs> they seriously are, man. Let's... Hopefully, so oh. hopefully Sony's um, press conference later on uh, later on will be a little more than just we're sorry, we're just we're so sorry, like <laughs> we're last year. Sorry. We're, we're just we're so sorry. We're pathetic. We're, we're green. So... Changing color. Oh, here we go. And a o- very large audience. Hi, Phil. Phil, somewhere in there. Hey, so Phil. Jed. Wait, I think Ooh, I see Jed. him. He's, Ooh, he's, he's Ooh, lit Jedi up boy. the green. I think I see his bald head reflecting the green on us. Yeah. <laughs> That's the screen, dude. I'm pretty sure it's Phil's bald head. <laughs> uh. Look at all the his head would be like the perfect size for like an Xbox symbol. <laughs> he could yes. like, rent it out to Microsoft. Just Advertising space. <laughs> uh, yes, Phil, Jed, 
and Travis from the side are all in the audience live for this conference. As we all sit back behind our computers, just going, you lucky bastards. Yes, I, oh, I wish we were, I was there. What, Damn. like, one day, one day, one day, I keep telling myself mm. that. When Capsule takes Ladies off, we'll be there in our private jets. The yes, everyone needs to come to our site and briefing. push us to the moon. Mm -hmm. Ah, right, here we go, it's Vinny. Oh my god, they're playing an Xbox. Well, they just turned on their 360. Who would have thought? Original. original. <laughs> hmm. It's been four years. What's happening? Mm. Hello, four. And today we send forth. Huh. They don't waste time. Who's oh, this old man? We knew it was no. gonna. Halo four. No. I really like how they've used real people in this ad. Yeah. Wow. Well, that is they've some really good CGI. This might be a preview for the uh, that one <laughs> video series they're doing for it. Oh yeah. Forward onto dawn, yeah. Yeah, that's probably forward onto dawn. Or just an ad for it. Actually, now that I think about it, that ship looks exactly like the one in Halo, uh, Halo Wars. No, no, Halo Wars 2, maybe? This is uh, the USS Infinity, that's the one from Halo 4. Yeah, it's just the same class of ships. Oh my god, it's orange. Is this a Mass Effect crossover? <laughs> so much orange. The Reapers are coming! <laughs> oh god, it's Final Fantasy Spirits Within. <laughs> Man, so like your sexy voice there made me think that guy actually said that in the trailer. <laughs> Transformers, the movie. This is not Halo 4. Halo something. Oh my god, a guy with a beard. He looks very upset. The game come out. Look at those graphics. It's so realistic. You're oh, gonna it's... get eaten. Why is she so upset? What's wrong with her? It's Prometheus. Some... It's Halo. Prometheus. I know, I know, but it's like, it, I'm just getting thrown. Oh, here comes Chief. Chief, look out, a giant spaceship is about to crash into us. What do we do? Let's stand here and look cool. The same thing you've done the last few times a ship's crashed into you. Just stand there and hope it doesn't hit you. It's all good, I have regenerating shields. <laughs> this is gonna be a short game. <laughs> Don't worry, if I love a grenade Tyler. and jump at the right time, I can fly. Oh, yes, giant my, orb thing. My little gun is going to stand a chance against this. So new bad guys, huh? Yep, new bad guy is balls. Oh, okay. <laughs> yes, it's time. Marble it's Madness team. too. <laughs> 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 I'm sure the chief just said something badass, but we should have shut up about it. <laughs> uh. I can already imagine Tabuscus is making a voice uh, a video log for this. Oh, some gameplay. Can you get us down to the ship? Affirmative. Setting a waypoint for infinity. Let's go. This is a lot, a lot like the first level from Halo 3. Yeah. Mm, that's graphics, what I just thought. The graphics don't look too much better than they did Halo before. Halo Reach, yeah. It's an Xbox. Just... They pretty much max out what they can do with it. Well, that's only because we're watching it through the screen. Like, at best, we're and this is a live stream. We're, at best, we're only getting like 480p out of this. Yeah. Yeah, but they're pretty much max out what they can do with the Xbox. It's running. I don't think very this is going to look much better than Reach. Yeah. I don't, I, I don't think it needs to. Halo's never really needed to be graphically fantastic. It's just as long as the game works. Yeah. yeah. Grunts confirmed. You hear, heard it here first. <laughs> yeah, yep, grunts. And so he shoots without, you know, going down to investigate or anything. What an ass Master Chief is! What are, he's having a crack nice at the people. elite. Are, are, are they like allied now, or what the? F oh, yeah, okay. I'm pretty sure I remember seeing something like that at the end of Halo Reach, or four, three. Whichever one was the last one. <laughs> yeah, that's so, track. I don't know how I feel about this visor vision. I, I know, I mean, it, it's just a it's trailer, very but. Similar to Halo 3s, but. I don't know what I feel about this game. 
Oh shit, is that the flood? The visor vision worked fine in Metroid Prime, so I didn't really see the problem with it here. Hmm. I don't know. I'm kind of indifferent in general. To this. I, I'm really not wowed at all by this. It just seems very yeah, much. It's Halo. Same old, same Halo. old. There's new bad yeah. guys, sure, but. Yeah. It is Halo. Yeah, I mean, Halo. annoying dog type bad guy, which is in like every sci fi shooter. There he is. What I've never gotten about, like, alien, like, forces, is like, they're usually portrayed as one group. That looks like and, a Bionicle, man. Like, yeah, it does. <laughs> to get a good close up. And, like, there's always different kinds of aliens. Like, there's this big, massive alien that is, like, the same race as all the other aliens. And it doesn't really make any sense biologically. That's the first time something's ever thrown a grenade back at the chief after he's thrown it. What do you mean? The grunts threw them back all the time. No, they, they throw their own. Like, you can't catch a plasma grenade. Ooh, this... What's this new toy? It's a ghost rifle of some kind. I'm getting a very Unreal Tournament feel from that gun. I'm not. Of course you're not. <laughs> I'm you're not. You're, 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 <laughs> pro here. you're a dickhead Link. I'm really not though, it looks nothing like any... The gun that it looks most similar to is the plasma... I mean, the shock cannon. And the shock rifle, and it looks nothing like it. Scattershot, they've already got names for them. Like, the first time encountering these weapons, and he's already got names. How much of this do you actually is going to make it into the final cut? All of it. No, do you remember yeah, back like, when Halo 2 was announced? Like, ba like barely any of that. Well, none of that intro level got in there. Who knows? We, what, we don't know what this is, really, though. What we're watching. It does look like more Metroid level. Prime than... <laughs> it yeah, looks a lot are like Metroid the Prime. Level, because this is, like, the introduction to the new bad guys. That They'd probably wait, like, two levels to get to that. Yeah. Mm. So that might be just something unique they have just for E3. Oh god, another new type of annoying enemy, like the Flood wasn't enough already. Was that Cortana <laughs> or was that a new AI? Cortana. That was Cortana. Okay, she's pretty hot in this one. No, she's finished. dying though. I don't care, she's giving hot. her the seal of approval. Yep. Crazy bitch. Told him. Eh. Cortana, if you ever get a body, there's a space for you in my bed. Yeah, looks boring to me. Yeah, it's Halo. Halo's Halo. No, like, you can't really say anything about it. I'll play it, I'll buy it. But, absolutely. Hey, Don. He's Don is good. Mm -hmm. Call me here, Don. And welcome to the millions watching live on Spike TV on the web, and for the first time ever, on Xbox Live. It's a privilege to be back here today at my 17th E3. This past year, Xbox moved from being the number one selling console in North America to the number one selling console Ooh, worldwide. good job, Microsoft. I want to, yeah. Hmm. What? What about the PlayStation 2? Screw the PlayStation 2. Number one selling worldwide. Very cool. Yeah. He probably means this generation, not all time. In the year 2011. Okay, that makes sense. <laughs> he doesn't elaborate very much. No. It's all about Xbox 360. The only device that brings together all your entertainment all in one place. Games, movies, sports. Pretty sure we might see a new console now. <laughs> yeah. Through the magic of we might. This year, we're bringing you the greatest. This could be a lead off right into it. Yeah, that's what, that's all it's gonna be for ages. Oh, here we go. Oh, no. Another video. oh no, connect in Halo 4. And unveiling innovations that make all your entertainment better than ever before, only on Xbox. And this holiday, we're going to take Xbox entertainment beyond the console. They're gonna talk about blasts. There never has been a better time to own an Xbox. I hope you enjoy this. And now he explodes. <laughs> oh my god, someone just died live. <laughs> Here we go, this is like some modern. Or they just faded out. Going on. 
Well, they just said Halo 4 will have Kinect. It'll probably just be the same as Halo Anniversary's voice control. What's this? I don't, I don't think it'll be much, even if whatever they do with it. This game looks dodgy. This. Black Ops 2, do you think? Nah, yeah, no. It's Black Ops 2 is more futuristic. No, it's apocalyptic futuristic. They were, they, were riding, they were riding horses in the first trailer. Okay, I have no idea then. I don't know. I I said it looked Call of Duty stick, and it, it does because it looks very very bad graphically. It's very it's very easy right from the get go, and you have emphasis on all this military shit. So I'm gonna stick with Call of Duty at the moment. No, no, no I think it's gonna be a what's it called? Uh, Splinter Cell. Since when is blood powder? Since have you now. have you seen blood eject from somebody's body? I suspect that we'll find out like... what this is as soon as this guy takes his mask off. I should go shoot a guy in the head and find out. Oh, it's Splinter Cell. Called it. Yeah, I think okay. it's Splinter Cell. Yeah, yep. Sam Fisher. Can you? How can you tell? He just looks like any other dude, bro. Girl. Yeah, Ubisoft. Yep. Splinter Cell. You know Splinter Cell. <laughs> oh, funny thing is, we already knew about this because Ubisoft leaked it. Oh yeah. <laughs> But here's the you thing, guys didn't say anything. The people sitting there probably didn't. That's true. Unless they had some sort of... I like how they have this angry looking guy out there to play the game. Look at it, look how angry he looks. He's like, <laughs> why? Why can't I be Michael Ironside? Yeah, this is great and all, but why the hell didn't Sam Fisher just keep his costume on? Yeah man, if you're like ninjaing around, you don't reveal that you're a ninja. Or well, how else do people know who he is? Uh, they need to know that it's a Splinter Cell game. You can't have him in a... I know, but they've Rogue established that in the cutscene. I mean, like, <laughs> would, why, logically, would he not just keep the... He's got the, he's even got the headset thing. Uh... The headset's pretty iconic. Hey, man. Well, you get to kill terrorists in this one. Try to stick that thing under a turban. Mm. America! Fuck yeah! Come America! Hate terrorists! Let's just watch the psychotic man do the killing. Mm. Yes. Let's... That's like how this other god is dead. Yep. Yeah, they're keeping up with the... I suddenly have an urge for red meat, and I think that's disturbing. You can move smoothly through the environment. So why is Ubisoft showing this during Microsoft and not their own? Oh, don't worry, we'll see all of this again during their conference. <laughs> yep. Most likely. <laughs> They'll be like, now let's show you another trailer. Whoops, we leaked this in our own conference. <laughs> Whoops. Whoopsie. We leaked 2014's E3 too. Whoops. <laughs> Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry about that, guys. We put the wrong disc in the projector. That was next year's E3. How bad. The Splinter yeah, Cell is see this until like 2015 at least. Rayman Splinter's are like Creed. all you Ubisoft really has left. Splinter's Creed, eh? And they pretty much have all of this. They've got like pretty all of the Tom Clancy series, though. Actually, a new a new Vegas game would be nice. It looks like the development team went from that game went to this game though. Yeah. And I think I, I think the developers are learning something about the Kinect. It's that they players don't like anything except the voice control. <laughs> Which goes to show that the developers are learning. I hate Kinect. But they could have done the voice control with the headset. Yeah, they tried that with End War though, it didn't work very well. Okay. I don't like how Microsoft tries to shoehorn connect into pretty much every game now. It's fucked. Well, that's all they've got. That's how they're proving they're the future. The future of gaming. It could be like in you guys have seen the movie Gamer, right? Yeah. How the guy's yeah. like in his bedroom and he's like waving his hands around and stuff. Yeah, Maybe I wouldn't want that to become a reality. Nah. But maybe that's what they're going for. Maybe that's what they think. Maybe that's what they think people want. 
Yeah, they they think we want to be placed in shitty movies. The movie was alright. I liked it. Mm -hmm. I used to watch it from time to time. It's good to sit back and not really care about what's happening and just enjoy all the action stuff. The only good video game movie in my re recollection is The Wizard, as far as that type. Is that that like ni one from like the 90s or the 80s? It's like late 80s. Fred Savage. It's 80s that, that's the movie where they accidentally leaked Super Mario Bros. 3. I don't think yep. they, they leak it. I thought that was... No, I, I was joking. It's all a big part of the Guys, I think we <laughs> might be getting just a wee bit off topic. Nah. I like how these well, always there's, just turn There's nothing the really going on here except for the usual. Him going from room to room executing people. We're watching sure. other people play a game that is pretty much spoiled for us. Well, isn't this. Eyes. This just looks like. This doesn't look any different to Conviction besides the setting. Mm. Yeah. It looks exactly like every other Splinter Cell. Sam Fisher, American hero. Mm -hmm. uh, what did you do? Let me just walk up in like you know, <laughs> blue, white, and red. Fucking stars and stripes everywhere, and just be like, "Hey guys, More I'm, fucking American, I'm gonna kick your asses." Yeah. Yay for Splinter Cell Blacklist. Okay, the audience loves it. Of course they do. Is that Sam Fisher on stage? <laughs> okay, I agree with that guy is. Look at him. He's smiling and he looks mad. <laughs> we just had to play the same thing to make sure you could do it right for like weeks. He didn't even get to talk. Oh, you, okay. Yeah. Fuck oh, this guy. Oh my god. No, I'm gonna go take a piss, guys. Hi, here's Janus. Yeah, yeah, we were proud to take all your money. Now we're gonna do it all again. Enjoy your football, bitches. I doubt that. Oh, we'll better with Connect. <laughs> Ow. You can't go kicking soccer balls and everything around in your like, living room. Unless it let. I How much of a douche does this guy look? Seriously. I mean, my head is all spiky, I've got yeah, a fake tan going. Total douche. Total fucking douche. <laughs> oh, oh. After this conversation, I'm gonna be going out to a fucking strip club. With the chaps, and <laughs> we're gonna waste Voice money commands. on strippers. Voice commands in Mass Effect made sense because you're yelling at your squad mates. What are... if this allows yeah, me to kick like a, a connect and destroy it? Call an audible. And yes, this is a good game. No, these Seems are all like tacked in. Mean. These are you're literally just saying the plays you want to do. It's all like tacked in. They're not even smart. I don't feel like it's very well utilized at all. The only I mean, how, possible. How, like, How are you going to use your voice in a bloody in a bloody soccer game unless you're playing like as the referee? No, no the only the, appeal would be to actually like once you actually score a goal is to run around and scream. You can actually do it for why, real. Now. Why do like all soccer? I can do that for real by walking down to the park. Yeah. <laughs> I don't I just need came, a Nick to do that. I just came up with a strategy for soccer. Right, what you do is you have one guy with the ball, right, and you just have all the other players put a circle around him. And then you just run into the goals. Yeah, go mm. okay guys, I, I, I think in all honesty though, like, for all of us hardcore gamers, we're all just a little bit jaded against sports games, just a little. Yeah. Well, yeah, but as far as the voice commands in this game go, I mean, oh, that yeah, seems to be the prominent feature, but it's only to control, like, menus and plays, and that's, or unless it's you're awesome. like... Would you say it's not better with Kinect? Yes. <laughs> well, now we got Madden Kinect, so... See, th this is even, yeah. le even less interesting, because we barely get any Madden games in Australia as it is. The same well, FIFA, we get FIFA here, but... But it's not as huge, is it? It's not nearly as big as Madden. I mean, to like... Oh, look who we have. We have some... Uh, I'm sorry, I'm not American. Dustin, can you perhaps explain who Joe Montana is for those of us who have 
no idea. Um, he, he was like, like a fucking dolphin, dolphin at one time, I think, and he used to, he literally just hopped out of the water, and I actually don't know, he's like an ex-football star of some sort. Like, I, I don't watch some football. Like, I think he's like one of the top quarterbacks of all time, I, I'm not sure. So he's basically like Don Bradman of... This guy has a wife and three mistresses, I'm telling you guys now. <laughs> <laughs> Four, actually. Four? Interesting. Oh, it's Joe Montana. Experience the horrible pacing of NFL games for yourself. Wait, Gridiron's fun to play. Is it really? Yeah. But I'm just wondering, like, what kind of football lets you pass the ball forwards? How slow was the reaction time to what he said? It was very slow. They literally took the camera off the screen and put it on him. Maybe that's not it. Maybe it, we. Maybe we're just... All very slow in our brains. No, my brain's pretty quick. Like, Quake Live is like a slow motion game to me, and I'm running at 125 frames a second. Well, I could I could already tell that you know the the raw appeal of yelling hut hut is gonna be is gonna be pretty strong for a lot of gridiron fans. How how are Madden games fun? You play for two <laughs> seconds. Two second no. intervals, over and over. It was, for Madden's defense, I actually had a relative at Thanksgiving last year that I actually played the game at. And I played it for or, all day because that's all they played. And, but the, the, my problem is, it plays exactly like Madden 95, which I have for the Sega Genesis. <laughs> to this day, it's the exact same game. There's not, Besides from graphics... There's nothing different at all about that gameplay. You pass the ball to your player, everyone, all the NPCs run around and act stupid while you run up the field. That is all that happens. <laughs> what, I'm get, what I'm getting from this little presentation right now is this is what's going to be, like, we're going to release Madden and FIFA on every console, and we know that, like, especially FIFA will sell better on the PS3, but here, we're going to show you what Xbox can do to make, to try to make you buy it from them instead. Oh, uh, Fable. Fable Enough. <laughs> Molyneux quit for, because of this thing. Did he really? Yeah. Peter Molyneux quit because Fable the Journey, everyone knew it was gonna, well, blow, for more or less, for lack of a better term. Oh god. Oh god, what the hell? <laughs> Those aren't oh gods of, like, joy or orgasm or anything, that's like an oh, oh god of dread. Yeah. Okay. What is this? Fable, Fable the Faggot. Nothing is better with Connect. Nothing. That looks like a Sims. God, Peter Molyneux's rolling in his grave. He's alive. <laughs> <laughs> this looks like medieval moves. I guarantee you, none, nobody playing this game is going to be able to pull off that level of coordination in the game. I guarantee you. No, no because the going Kinect to is not game. coordinated at all. You know what oh. every we Kinect play... game sends it to? Just a whack, like, what it would essentially be like a wee waggle fest. You just... Fling your hands around. I'm gonna go ahead and say it too. Connect Star Wait, Wars no. made me give up on the Connect. I do me not too. have any me faith too. in that console. Ladies and gentlemen, the head of Microsoft oh, they Studios, Phil Spencer. Ooh, Phil Spencer. Ooh, Ooh Phil. Hey. Out the stops. It's like a mixture of Dustin and Phil. Look at him. <laughs> he has hair, but he has Phil's face. Whether it's blockbuster <laughs> franchises you simply can't find anywhere else, or highly anticipated games from the world's best publishers. Only the best games are on Xbox. Beginning with the also return of Master also some shitty ones. Halo 4 and the bold new direction for Fable the Journey. It will be. be oh my god, he's really talking this game up, isn't he? And great games start with great studios. Every day, I have the pleasure of working with some of the world's best development talent. Studios like Three He said Lionhead like a goat. Lionhead. And Epic Games. And I know that was These are the creative forces behind our biggest franchises. So we know this guy's a goat, Today, and he looks like Phil. Uh huh. Yep. And you combined. Racer. He's related to you, though. Yeah. Yes, he is. Except with a festival I have never met this man. Of the open road. Forza. Here we go. An open world Forza game. A world premiere trailer for the latest edition. Oh, Gears of War. Gears of War Seven. Didn't we just have one of these, like, a month ago? Is this, this gonna be the same trailer that they showed us already? Oh no, this is new. 
But I meant no, we just had a Gears of War game. I wish Epic would get off Gears of War and fix Unreal Tournament. Unreal Tournament 3 was horrible. If they they need they really need to like get off the whole hunky fucking three three fucking heads per arm style characters and get back to the limba, the athletic build characters from Unreal really? Tournament 1 and 2004. Bad? Really? And Bad is going to be the main character. <laughs> Fuck this. I want to say I'm tired of Gears of War like I'm tired of Halo. Go back but to I'm Unreal Tournament Epic. Go back to Unreal. Oh, another Forza. Well, this feels like last year. I feel like I'm literally stuck in a time loop. Me too. Sure All they need is uh, to start playing a Kanye West track and it'll be complete. Is this the E3 2005 conference? Or, or even 2011, because like literally Forza was a directly after Gears of War last time. I'm surprised you remember that. The only difference I've noticed so far is that Halo 4 was moved to the front. Halo 4 was revealed first it. instead of last this time. They better have something bloody amazing at the end. And I don't know what kind of It'll cars people fun. drive in Forza, but the... my car never shines like that. Yeah, no, it one. It's like oh, they literally just crazy. get their cars waxed. Let's go racing. Look at it. <laughs> this, I, I'm not sure, but this is obviously somewhere in Europe. This is not in-game graphics. You know, the graphics in this, like, don't actually look as good as the trailer show off of the last game. Alright, we got some dubstep in this one. Instead of jumping uh, oh, they need for speeding it. They need for speeding dubstep it. in everything. Just, it's fucked. Well, actually, this is more bro step, but anyway. Anything step is... Ugh. Dubstep does not belong in Forza. I don't know, Forza had drum and, a lot of drum and bass stuff. Um, from Leave the dubstep for Need for Speed. There. Oh god, okay, now it's a burnout apparently as well. Maybe they're taking it in like a Need for Speed sort of what have you direction. Done they're with taking Forza. it up to the horizon. I hope this is just like a one-off spin-off. Well, that's not too far from no. now. Forza actually, is yeah. meant to be a pure racing sort of. Oh my god! Now yeah. the head of marketing and strategy, <sighs> Yusuf Medi. This is the guy we can blame. Yeah, it's all his job to sell us. He's a terrorist. That's racism. Yeah, that's and stereotyping. Is it? Oh, sorry. And fully endorsed by me. But it's also music. Not really. Don't quote me on that. Last year we Wasn't Sam Fisher just killing a guy named Yusuf? I think so. On Xbox. And with the introduction of Bing Voice Search on Xbox, we made it easier and four times faster to find the entertainment you want. Oh, they're now, fucking enhancing this Bing easy. shit. Fuck's sake. Fall, no one cares about Bing. Bing. No one gives a shit about this. Their best fucking operating system for the, for the Xbox was one that came with it. Xbox. With the fucking folders and shit. I still hate this dashboard layout. If they want to improve it, make it where you don't have to say Xbox before everything, you stupid fuck. Exactly. Xbox. Holy fuck, he's really saying Xbox before everything. I think you have to, so he knows that you're talking to it. That explains so well, much. Well, it better know I'm talking to it anyway. Who the fuck else am I going to talk to when I'm talking to it? <laughs> Xbox, give me a gobby. <laughs> Everybody else in the world will not get that joke. <laughs> you instant access. Easier, faster, and simpler. Really? Every fucking I did not know that. I don't like staying on my dashboard anymore because every time every single pane has an ad on it that tries to play. You know why yes, I don't use that you know why I don't use that bloody Bing thing? It's just because like if I wanted to do an internet search, I would use my computer. Exactly. With I Google <laughs> The superior search engine. Who the hell I mean, like, uses Bing? Whenever I see some kind of forced advertisement about Bing. I just... It's in another language. Sorry. Oh no. Oh, okay, yeah, okay, so now apparently we can speak French to it. El Fienta de los Mios. Yeah, that's Spanish, that's Spanish as bro. wonder if it'll understand people. I'm like... adding that guy to my thing. Sleep free. Sleep free. Miss Afliaciones. Well, they even have ads in their conference 
My you know what? I bet Shameless. even though even though it can recognise different languages, it still won't pick up the Australian accent. I know, it's so great. <laughs> Probably not. Hey, yeah, Xbox Strong. Yeah, Xbox Strong, go. Give me a point. <laughs> Xbox, did you say... Xbox? Xbox? Yes. Could you please repeat what you said? Of the more than 35 new entertainment providers we're announcing this morning. What if it understands Pig Latin? Xbox. Okay, here's some it's new subscriptions. Nickelodeon What's is the same? coming to... You guys, oh, Nickelodeon just got announced. Okay, if this has something to do with Legend of Korra, I will be more interested. Let's go Paramount. Let's go Paramount. Oh, I can okay, do Paramount. That, uh, yeah. that's, that's pretty good. And Machinima. Oh, Machinima, nice. Uh, All right. Most of the US things made by douchebags. Univision will provide thousands of hours of programming across telenovelas, dramas, You know what, Microsoft? Movies, just give me, like, the ability to play MKVs your on your console, your and yes. I will yeah. be happy. Alright, so let's talk about sports. No, let's not. No, we're about gamers. We're hardcore gamers. We do not sports. Sports are for nerds. Is he forgetting that <laughs> the Xbox is meant to play games? Apparently, always, yeah, talking about everything games. but games. I do not Apparently. care if ESPN is on the Xbox. We're nerds. We don't give a shit about UFC. We like wrestling and shit. Mm -hmm. Speak to yourself. I don't care about it. Well, personally, I do enjoy watching people beat the hell out of each other. Okay, no, I do not want MLB. <laughs> That's right, listeners. You can probably tell by now we're all a little bit cynical about this. Yeah, you're missing your target demographic here a little bit, Microsoft. Just so you know. Like, didn't you guys just say you were number one worldwide? Stop catering just to Americans. Exactly. No offense, Dustin, but it's like a lot of No, I, I totally stuff. agree. But the thing is, I'm American, and I find this boring as shit because I would never, I don't use my game console to do what my TV already has been able to do for 30 years or whatever. That's the thing. The, the, yeah. Right now, everything he's talked about is nothing to do with games. Where's the incentive to sign up to Foxtel if you're just going to put all the channels on it anyway? Called it. To bring you game changing content from the worldwide leader in sports. Did you ever notice that the N looks right, like the Boba first Fett's time face? you used game in the whole freaking talk? You, you know Nintendo, and I will say this: we watched the pre-conference yesterday, and they introduced a small little feature for TV where you could use your remote as a or like a television remote, a controller as a remote. That is all gamers want when it comes to television combining yes. the two. And it's graded yeah. well. Brilliant. It, I, I, I don't want to sound like a Nintendo fanboy again, but that half-hour spec like video that they did yesterday about just the um, the Wii U was way more interesting than this. I'm really yeah, can't. This is just boring as shit. Microsoft. Finally, you ESPN, you and you are my Xbox. Now I can see the crappy college leaks for myself all the way in Australia. <laughs> Microsoft. It wouldn't have been the same without a trailer. And two douches That's watching Xbox, Xbox porn channel. Xbox red tube. Red tube. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> That's what gamers want from their Xbox. You know what? Uh, uh, how about like some anime? That would be nice. Yes, exactly. Xbox I would, Blu ray. I would pay for like an anime channel on the, uh, or an anime app on the Xbox. Like a Toonami app, there. And generally, if you mix, like, hardcore gamers, more hardcore gamers are more likely to be anime fans than sports fans. Exactly. And that's the thing, though. They're trying to expand their audience a bit. Yeah, uh, I, I, I mean, we all know that that's what, that's what they're trying to do. And obviously, this is going to, like, market more to the casual gaming demographic as it seems to have been doing in the recent years. I swear, that Xbox looked different that they were had in that commercial. Maybe that was me. See, if I watched no, the was small. commercial, I would think it's just a commercial for people watching sports, not yeah. for anything to do with Xbox. Oh fuck! Now we're going to talk about music. Oh god! I have iTunes for this. Yeah, so do I. And I hate. Well, you know what I have for that Zoom. sport? If I, actually, if I wanted to watch that kind of sport, could you just not use your TV? What I don't get what the That's Xbox is actually bringing to the sport I'm watching experience. I'm calling it. This is gonna have like some sort of silly connectivity with like Windows phones.
Probably. We're going to release Xbox Music on Xbox 360 and on Windows 8 PCs, tablets, and. Fucking Windows 8. Fuck. Called it. Soon, guys. Here's your sneak peek of Xbox Music. <laughs> I pulled, I pulled Windows 8 connectivity no with something. Alright, uh, can, can we have enough of this Windows is a media center crap and can we actually have, you know, E3 is for. Last time I checked, games? I'm actually <laughs> more for uh, Windows being a media center, mainly because. Like, I want to be able to stream my movies from my PC to my Xbox. Can we see about games, please? That. And I can already do that. Yeah, Still I know. waiting for Harry Potter Connect. Yeah. I, I really hope they don't decide to show off the Did that name... Wait better. wait a second, guys. This is important. Did that name... Her friend's name was Ziggy Zester Stone? Oh, <laughs> that right there just made this commercial for me. <laughs> Ziggy Zester Stone. Yes, and he looked happy to have that name. <laughs> I think that would be too. I think this looks like it's a specific uh, sort of retaliation to Apple and iTunes and everything. Yeah. yeah. Well, which I don't think is necessarily a bad thing, them trying to uh, come up with their own system, but I don't know. That's true, but I don't think it's the place to announce it. As you know, Connect transforms entertainment. Here we go, mock bullshit. Yes, it really does. And like, like, now you can press the play button with your hand with the connect. You just gotta make a silly gesture that looks like a triangle. And only responds in a certain way. Health games, uh, great. Oh, great. Trauma, oh no way. Wait, don't I already own this on my Wii? Didn't the Ubisoft guys do, like, do several games like this already? In fact, I'm positive they did. I reviewed them. Uh. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure we've seen fitness games everywhere considering or well, after nintendo started the whole trend that's right ladies work those muscles ay 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 are they calling us fat actually I'm i think cold. they are this is really condescending hey fuck you microsoft i'm not fat i'm skinny I'm skinny as a big please welcome the vice president of digital sport at nike stefan no Miranda. no more sport why are they pushing sport? <sighs> hey, another douchebag. This guy looks super happy to be pushing Let's not sport, take personal attacks on this. Like, what we have more is the concept here. What does this have to do with Nike? What does Nike have to do with Xbox? Are they gonna make, like, gaming shoes? Are they forgetting that this is a gaming event, not a sports event? Wait, maybe they're making shoes that connect to your Xbox when you exercise. <laughs> Nike Plus. Like James, They're better with Connect. What it should be is like, we're no longer going to allow you to have shoelaces unless you own a Connect. Take that, other game company. We tell you things like how fast they move, how high they jump, or how quickly they react. You know what we have for that? It's called PE class. Mm-hmm. Unfortunately, it's called going outside and running. It's called outside, isn't it? It's kind of... It's a new world, us gamers, but we, we're still not going to explore it. What if you don't have a body? That's kind of racist. What about those people without arms and legs? What about androids? They made a game about this called Katawa Shoujo. Have you considered, like, what about the android playing masses, huh? Yeah. What about Glover? What the what, fuck? What about us astromech droids that have free wheels and lighting eyeballs? Lighting, yeah. And, and jetpack and jet thrusters. I don't know, what do you think, HK47? Statement. This is making my urge to kill rise. <laughs> Statement. All meat bags must be exterminated. I went for a walk down to the shops this morning. Did I play this game? Today, we're really excited. <laughs> I'm still not sure. Damn it, you should have written that up, Luke. It would have been a leak. <laughs> I should have. I could have leaked it. I could have leaked it already. <laughs> I guarantee it cannot do it better than the human eye. It can tell you degrees and shit. Great, math. Well, the real time, they say real time feedback, but every single game except for Dance Central, which Dance Central, most of the time it lets you cheat. It just kind of, I've noticed that. The lag but, is horrible. Yeah, the lag is horrible for almost all Kinect games. 
I guarantee no one will have that much space in their living room to be able to do that. You cannot do what that guy's doing at that speed unless you... <laughs> And have the connect actually keep up with you. It will explode. I just, I just like how they've got Nike fucking logos everywhere here. It's like, hey, with Nike and Microsoft. <laughs> and Sony's gonna come out with Adidas. Yeah, man. Yep. Will now help you to find people to and Nintendo will say, This oh, conference was bought. Can we talk about games again, please? It's like, it's like, hey, remember that thing that Nintendo did a while ago, the Wii Fit? Well, here's our version. Two years late. More than two and years. With Nike endorsement, Nike that makes it more important. This conference funny. Is... I... Yeah, that's the funny thing about Nintendo, let's though. It's not. like they do things so much earlier. Numbers. Let's take a look. No, you just showed us, and we don't. You just wasted five minutes showing us it. Now you're going to show us it more. And the Why thing is, I, I cannot this? imagine anyone that excited about this, like on the edge of their seat, going, "Oh my God." BioWare <laughs> 2K, save us! I'm surprised that the people in that theater aren't just getting up and walking out. I'm I'm fairly certain there are. Man, if I was there, I would've been like fucking yelling at the stage, being like, what the fuck is this shit? I bet Phil has his mouth open right now and drooling right, because he does it every single event. <laughs> Did you notice you know, that no one's actually doing any of this fitness in like, their lounge for a rooms or anything? Phil, Phil will have his is, mouth open for a different reason. He gets off to pixels. This technology is not timeless because phones literally upgrade every single month. So what are they making here? My phone is already outdated. And they wonder why the iPhones are starting to dominate the gaming market. <sighs> Fuck iPhones. Life is not better with Kinect. Okay, now this better not be more dashboard crap. Can you imagine life? He's, He's going to play a game. He's going games. Oh, we know it's not anything fitness related. Because he's fat. He's ironic. This, this, uh, this is Windows Phone stuff now, isn't it? Oh, God. It is the Microsoft conference, I guess, not the Xbox conference, even though there's Xbox logos everywhere. I was looking at these uh, comments on GameSpot here, as much as I hate those dicks, and pretty much everybody in the crowd is fucking agreeing with what we're seeing in this commentary. Mm. You should yeah. see Twitter oh, really? lighting up with all this hate. Are you looking up the Twitter feeds no. and stuff? Yeah, I'm on Twitter right now. And People can see all my crazy mutual. little tweets I've made while the... I don't use Twitter, so... Yeah. Oh, smart. Unless... It, 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 my verdict or at the moment is that unless they do unveil a new... Like, Xbox console, then they've lost E3, in my opinion. I don't even know. Yeah. I don't think say. anyone can normally do I have, Normally I have very low expectations of Sony, but this time around, yikes. Uh, didn't they leak this as well? Let's take a look. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you know what, it's weird, because Xbox are winning the race at the moment, you know? And it's like they just went, ah, we're winning, we don't need to do anything. Maybe it's just because they feel like they, they have more elbow room to take risks now in comparison to the others. Take risks? What have they done that's risk-taking? Well, this thing that might not particularly sell, that would definitely be one. Mm -hmm. Oh my <laughs> god, it's Daddy Jr. Netflix has done that for years. Yeah. <laughs> Robert Downey Jr. is so hot, I am straight, and he could have my babies anytime. <laughs> you know, this is all making the huge assumption that you're going to have a Windows tablet, or you're going to have a Windows phone, to be if able to If I'm going to have a tablet, it's going to have fucking Android on it. Or some form of Linux. They're like, look at this, Wii U, this is what we can do. We make ours transfer to a tablet that you pay $500 for on top of yeah. your console. Oh, God, God. to me, this is just like a, marketing, like a marketing ploy to sell the rest of their crap. Pretty much. It's like, oh, we got all this junk that we haven't sold yet. In a note to the Australian listeners out there at the moment, uh, all these programs, these subscription services, a good n my cable provider, a good number of co cable providers do not support these. Not all of them don't, but I mean, some of them do, but a lot of them are not supported. So a lot of these are completely useless to half of the audience watching. Yeah. 
Mm -hmm. Like there's not licensing mention, issues, not to mention nationally. No us. No yeah, we're North not going to get these. Me that information without interrupting the actual episode. And with smart glass, I would throw something at my monitor, but I need it right now. No I want to throw something at their monitors. Yes. Surprised the crowd in out there isn't booing, unless they got like some kind of dampening technology going. They are so fucking quiet, though. Because what, think, what I, are they going to be the, excited about? I think the silence speaks for itself. Like nobody's wooing; they're just like giving a very polite golf clap. Because if, if as gamers, like secretly we're all very tr like all very trolly and all very judgmental. But like when we're in a public forum, we'll all just be very polite and then we'll save our. Yeah, we're, we're completely out, submissive we're in public. We'll wait till we go online and bitch to the forums. Yeah, I, I guarantee every a lot of people walking out of that conference are going to be what the fuck was that? It oh my god, Madden it's NFL. like Madden with tablet support. Mm. I'm pretty sure Microsoft saw like the Wii U doing this at Nintendo's conference last year and they're like, shit, we gotta quickly whip something together to compete with Nintendo on this tablet shit. So we'll release, you know, Microsoft Windows tablets oh, yay, more football. and make it integrate. Uh, look, I, I understand that there are plenty of people that like, that like football games, but come on. They're just doing this to compete with the Wii U, because they know they're going to lose a lot of market to Nintendo when the Wii U comes out. Yeah, because then our, they've already... Yeah, but the, the thing is, Nintendo's focused on games. Halo 4 somehow uses it. Great. This seems to be a lot... This seems to be making a lot of the mistakes that Sony was making with, it, like, trying to push their hardware last year. Halo Waypoint. Holy fuck. They are seriously. This is where you should now. Look at that gun. Just look at it. Now you can look at it while you play. <laughs> <laughs> it's like oh, the Metroid man. Prime scanning visor, but with. Didn't you we know, see this game already? Fucking interface that requires two entirely different devices to utilize. Like I freaking love the Halo games, but like, come on, we've already you've already given us a little bit of that. Like, how about something else now? Well, I don't know, that, 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 that does look interesting, but I'm... Um, Prime did it better on a single screen. Yeah, I'm getting the feeling that Nintendo are just going to do it better and focus on it, and it's, uh, Xbox are going to, it's going to go the way of the Kinect anyway, where that, it's probably technically more, like, advanced, and yet they just won't support it well enough. Mm. And this gives you the power to do something entirely new. But it's not entirely With new. And Xbox Smart Glass, we can finally bring you one of your Holy crap. For years, people have asked me, Microsoft is just disappointing me. I wish I was at E3 right now, just so I could, and like, just start an uprising in there. Just start booing. Phil, Jed, Maybe we should hear this. someone, please, bum rush the stage. What, what are their mobile numbers? I'll text them. Anybody know? The magic of I'll, I'll they probably have them all to turn it all off while they're in there, but people probably still have them on. Oh, yeah, true. Yeah, they don't want any organized riots. The Internet Explorer is coming to the Xbox after how long? <laughs> you think that would have been a day one app? It can't be that hard to play yeah. Explorer. Fantastic, this is something okay, PlayStation did from the get-go. Even the Wii okay, had an internet channel. And that was the Wii. Ooh, Reddit. <laughs> Fuck Reddit. <laughs> Fuck you, Reddit. Pinterest. I where's, guarantee where's if they the went, onto the channel, channel. If it went onto Tumblr right now, they just go, or, or onto Twitter, they just get how many like messages from gamers like, how crap is this? <laughs> Fuck Reddit. If I want to see upcoming movies, I will use my... Uh, another device besides my Xbox, anything like, but that. I'm gonna. Like our computers I have a smartphone. If, if I really want to look something up while I'm gaming, I'll use that. It's in my pocket. This is my. I use. My, I will be honest. I use my Xbox more than I do my Wii or my PS3. But this is where Microsoft is like losing their grip. I think on the industry, people do not turn on their game system to do all this shit. I mean, it's nice little extras, but is this a Mass Effect shit here? No, that's Prometheus. Oh, okay. This is Prometheus. It's just an ad for the movie. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Wonder how much money they get for this ad space. Yeah, this this entire fucking conference was bought. You get him, Catherine Eigel. You get him. 
Burn them. Burn them all to death. I like fire. Mm. Crispy. Did, oh wait, this is the Instant Explorer. Okay, that's right. Did it just black out, or is that just mine? Just yours. Hit F5. Interesting. Did it come back? Yep. I don't want to browse the internet with my voice. Oh, let's look at Aston Martin's ad. <laughs> this is no game I can all afford those. Yeah, Ben, let's, I let's think you're. Let's look at this ad. Let's look at this one. Ben, I think your iteration of Xbox Red Tube might actually be a reality at this point. Good. Well, it's not going to be able to use Flash, I'm sure. Uh, naturally. It's an Explorer. Is. Uh, it's it'll make it'll make anything that can use silver light. Xbox uh, Mozilla .com. Is that a Wii <laughs> little <laughs> cursor thing? It looks similar, yeah. What is he pointing at it with? So now, Penis. I think his phone. He's using his phone. Uh, uh. It is the smart glass thing, so. How many times do you reckon he had to practice this and just got really frustrated with the technology and like, no, do this, do this, do this, damn it. Very. Many times. I want to see my Xbox Smart Glass blue screen at least once. You can use your tablet to write a better play in Madden. Or you, one of them can get a virus and they all can get viruses. Oh, yeah. Or I can use my phone to place calls and use my game system to play games and use my TV to watch TV. And use my hey, to browse I can't the internet. believe you thought of this genius idea, Dustin. Until the Xbox comes with its own television, like that pops up on it or something, Individual devices should be individual. Dustin, you should patent that shit. We want to extend mm. that entertainment experience so that you can take it with you anywhere. We would make millions. We're pleased to bring Xbox oh my god, enough! Windows 8 tablets and PCs. Oh my god, this has went on for 20 minutes of not, no, uh, more than 20 minutes. It's been no almost games. an hour no games. since the, it's been almost an hour since the bloody thing started and we've got Halo 4, Fable the Journey, Forza Need for Speed, and Gears of War. That's all we've had to show for this. And Splinter Cell. And most of that was leaked leak previously. By Ubisoft. <laughs> And actually, most of those we already either knew about from last year, or they're just Please new ones. Please have a Bioware presentation. Please. Oh, Tomb Raider, thank God. Okay, or across here we go. Us. Sex. Boobs. This. Did you hear the crowd there? They were just so relieved. This better not be the exact same thing they did last year. <laughs> they're like, we want to tell you about the Tomb Raider movies and how you can now watch them. <laughs> Last year, we surprised everyone. Didn't they the show this all the just quick time events? Today, we're going to show you a dramatic action packed sequence. Ooh, mature direction. That's right, move that ass, Lara. I, I liked when she got raped in that, um, commercial. <laughs> hey, I mean, yeah. nearly raped, sorry. Nice crossbow. Lara Croft, two rocks daughter. Off. I'm getting, I'm getting very Skyrim feel from this suddenly. <laughs> Nah, that's not taking like arrows like me. Throw, <laughs> throw AI awareness. <laughs> I just love how she's like a professor or some shit. Hey, I didn't know we were watching Far Cry. A sexy professor. What was she? Like an archaeologist or something? Exist, unfortunately. Yeah. Is she a scientist? Maybe she can throw some acid on them, hey Link. Uh, Dude, she just got serious <laughs> fucking rope burned. I, I, that hurt. That, that, that's what the boat. Even, she, she even the boat. climbing rope gives you rope burns, and that's after like a second. Look at them boobs. They're not as triangle as they're I love her accent though, it's so sexy. Weren't they saying that this one she was going to be more like characterized? More Doesn't of seem like she's a timid little 21 year old. I will say, this, this has certainly appealed more than every, uh, like all the other previous Tomb Raider games of, you know, as of, of the last 10 years. Oi, don't diss Lara's triangle tits. <laughs> I'm not, but that was before 10 years ago. I gotta say, this is oh, yeah. the game I was most excited to see from Microsoft's conference. After seeing yeah, how too. crap the conference is, this is actually a little bit exciting. Yeah, They're an actual game. What a... Oh my god, I they did an arrow to the knee joke. No, no, oh. They did. Oh, they had to do it. <laughs> he used to be an adventurer. Oh. They had to do it, didn't they? Yeah, they had to. Fuck these guys. Every... No, no, okay. just that guy... Just that asshole in the beret who was playing this. 
The only thing is that I don't get so far, and it looks wonderful. I'm just saying it's, but it's a third-person game, and water just got on the screen. That's well, a water doesn't strange. stay still, Dustin. I don't know. Have you been? Have you ran with a camera in the fucking rain? Stop in the face. Oh, is the camera following her? Are you, are you being followed oh, by a cameraman? Oh, nice. <laughs> Fucking like you gotta keep the purposely car. doing a shot to me. I know. This is good. Uh, her clothes aren't staying wet, that's a problem. Her clothes aren't coming off, that's a bigger problem. What do you mean? Her yeah. shirt is darkened <laughs> by a whole tin. This looks actually pretty exciting though. Yeah, damn. I think it's just because they put a lot of Shit. boring crap in before us. Before well, it. no, it's just because, uh, no, I mean, I, re I legitimately, um, it yeah. looks really ex like an action-packed game, and that's something mm -hmm. we really haven't seen from, Whoa. like, Underworld was okay, but it was all puzzles and boring shit. Yeah, this doesn't, it doesn't look like, um, I don't know whether most of the other Tomb Raiders, but it's not yeah. a bad thing that it's not like them. Damn, she's getting her ass beat. She would have, this like, three and a half bad. broken arms right now. I like seeing Clara getting her ass kicked. Hey, a scene right out uh -oh. of the Lost World. Uh oh. What they just call this? <laughs> she dead, she dead. Oh. Oh man, no, don't even... This is straight out of the Lost World. She was trying to grab a bag. Get the parachute. And it breaks. Oh, well, she's fucked. The end. Oh, that's not good. Emergency shoot. Back, emergency? Yeah. But I'm actually really into this, so that's. Same. Did you notice that the, um, the prompt to push circle was on the parachute itself? It looked like it was painted on it. They actually sort of implemented the button, like the quick time buttons. Into God, the... when did her skeleton become infused with adamantium? She's taking so many bloody hits. Yeah, man, she's part of the Weapon X project as well. She's ah. X-23. That's the only way I can X? explain it. Sure. What can I say? Bitch knows how to take a hit. <laughs> I Dude, guarantee I'm... very few 21 year old women will be like that after taking that kind of beating. Hell, I doubt even say. like muscle bound dudes with like muscles on muscles. Even the Gears team would fucking be almost dead after that. And I yet, couldn't not take a that kind of beating. Tear in her damn shirt. Okay, well, I guess less sexy covered in blood, but still. Oh, you speak for yourself there. I have a raging burner right now. <laughs> Jesus Christ, do we need to know that? <laughs> quote Ray, to quote Ray William Johnson, I've got the weirdest boner right now. We're also thrilled to announce that the first piece of downloadable content for Tomb Raider will be available first exclusively on Xbox. I loved everything about that except that her clothes were not destroyed and ripped off, leaving her bare naked. After all of that, thank you. I thank those two guys after all of that crap yes. that we had to endure. Thank you. Uh, this is the same guy who announced Minecraft last year. Seen, we're taking the franchises you love in bold new Minecraft 2. But we're also investing Maybe. in new stories. A sequel of something, some obviously. Mm. No, no. Maybe not. Some, something new. That will it's gonna be exciting. New IP. Maybe it's a new IP I predicted. Alright, everyone just... Quiet. Let's be quiet and listen. Whether it's from one of the newest members of Microsoft Studios family, Twisted Pixel. Oh, never mind. This is fucking Lego Harry Potter, probably. Oh, fuck, yeah. Or Lego, Connect, whatever. To entirely new world. The next three titles oh, world premiere exclusives. I'm... World premiere exclusive. Let's start Interesting. with the newest release from Signal Studios. The team behind Toy Soldiers. Signal. Toy Soldiers is okay. I have no problem with that. If they want to pro, I'd like to see some XBLA games promoted. Yeah. Oh, they had to say Windows Phone. Lost interest. This. Mm. Ascend, huh? Let's let's see what this is. It's the Hobbit. It looks I like a ripoff of The Witcher. A little bit. Just that set. looked pretty Shadow of the Colossus to me. That was claymation. I'm getting Dragon's Dogma. It was like claymation. How does this look like claymation to you, Luke? He's probably watching it at like three frames per second. Uh, shut the hell up, I'm fired. <laughs> <laughs> well, that guy got his ass kicked. I'm Lord really Ever. not liking the glowiness of this. But if this is an XBLA game, I'm 
If there's a way to turn the bloom off, I would be happy. Yeah, it does, it it won't does be. feel a lot of painted grey, doesn't it? Yeah, it's like really oversaturated. It's one of the reasons I hated Skyrim so much. Another, a new demigod may game, maybe? I'm pretty sure they said its title at the start of this. It sends something. Sends. Yeah. Alright, I'm getting now I'm getting God of War feel from this. Ascend new gods. Oh. Ascend, huh? Yeah, looks interesting. Uh, and then you got abducted by aliens. The character design is very and... shit. Has yeah, been it's kind of generic compared to everything that we've seen. But oh, what's this? This looks interesting. Looks like it's Tron reminiscent to me so far. Proficient in, over 40 arms. Proficient in 40 arms and 40 combat what have we so Skynet yep the connect is Skynet it's official <laughs> it's official very Tron reminiscent loco cycle that is the worst fucking name ever but is that really what's okay. called? Oh my god. Oh, oh wait, it's, oh, it's Twisted Pixel. Twisted... I, I, I have faith in what they do. What? Yeah, they I have, have faith in what they do. Pirates of the Caribbean and Rango. Marble Man is 7. Was that the orb from Halo? I hope not. It's Pokemon on the Xbox. <laughs> yeah, it, it totally is a Pokeball. Hello, I am 343 Guilty Spark. Interesting. Hey, it's Wheatley! Portal 3? Maybe? Maybe? It would explain why Valve's been so quiet lately. Matter. Matter. Yeah. Made for Connect. Ah. Uh, Meh. I, I will remain. I had I had more fun pretending Slightly it was a new Mortal game. There we go. Yes. 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 This guy's okay. gonna control all something good's gonna happen. Sort of be good. What are you buying? This is where it'll get interesting. What are you selling? Resident Evil 6. Hmm. This is Capcom's opportunity to sell me on this game. Come on. After the last Resident Evil, yeah. Leon, hell. I loved Five. Five was my favorite. Five was really? the worst. Yeah, five I was the like worst. Five. I didn't like Five. I liked Four. I didn't like Five. I liked the Mercenaries mode in Five, but then I realized I could just turn on Number Four and play the same game. Is that Jill? Is she dead? <laughs> oh no. That's Claire. Claire Redfield. Leon looks old. He's old. He's like 75 now, man. Get with the times. <laughs> he's, like, no, he's like late 30s. He's an old codger. You don't age well when putting zombies all the time. Ooh. I'm getting a very Resident Evil 5 feel from this right now, and I'm not liking it. I like uh, that. I love only, five. only the graphic. I, I like the. I, all I'm getting. Notice is he he's running and shooting at the same time. Yeah, that's that's new. Whoa. We're heading to the quad it's not new. Just that's like, in. What? Revelations, you can do that. Yeah, I don't think anyone really counts Revelations. Revelations was yeah. awesome. Yeah, Revelations was pretty good. It's good, but not everybody had the handheld. And his. This is bullshit. Fuck this action shit. Go back to fucking survival horror, where the game, where yeah. the series is fucking well, good. I, that's an argument to be made, though. I think the series has evolved more about storytelling rather than so, putting uh, yes, scaring. Them. I have to agree. I, I agree. I agree with that. And also, like Leon's uh, just likable character. He was in fucking um, um, Resident Evil 2 or 3, and that was fucking two. awesome, and that was survival horror. Was yeah, no. Nah. I'm, I'm completely with you, Link. I reckon 1 and 2 were Brilliant awesome. Brilliant games. Brilliant. And I finished, four. I finished 4, but I didn't enjoy it all the way. Like, by the end it was a chore, and then I started 5, and I played it for maybe an hour and gave up. I, so I thought of 4 as, like, feels. a side story, as, like... You know, an introduction to this Lost Plagueis shit, and you know, it would like leak into America or something, and then like, it would be a survival horror for the next one. This definitely feels more oh, cinematic yeah. than the last one, and it feels like more in environment, because like the last time the whole open Africa thing was a little. 
it, it didn't feel right, but when you actually see ruined civilization, like the concept of zombie apocalypse hits home better. Yeah, but Left 4 Dead already did that, and they did it well. Yeah, Left 4 Dead did it better. Interesting. Uh, of course, this game looks amazing. Of course, Left 4 Dead did it better, but like, we're, we're working with him within the confines of confines of what Capcom knows, I guess. This like, looks... if, if, I, if, if I was going to have a zombie survival game, I would rather it be in an environment where, you know, you can actually see the comparison between, like, this pre- is not... and post-infection. I'm this buying this survival. game. This is not survival. Look at him go. Damn He's too. of war again. Yeah, man. This guy's say, a soldier. He just shot some guy without looking at him. After six it games, you like sort of this... expect him to be a little talented at this, though, but maybe not that much. This is like action game written all over it. Leon, Let's what about that chick yeah, you were just trying to save? She's probably holding that's the camera. What... If they had have replaced all the zombies in this with generic bad guys with machine guns, we'd be saying this is generic as fuck. But no, they're zombies, so suddenly it's cool. Is this hey, generic? what do you know, stars who's not trying to kill them? I haven't even paid attention to the zombies. I'm just, it looks good. I don't know, that's exactly what the Resident Evil th franchise has, though. Have, the fans what are other split. game looks like this? There you go, save Every other game. Those two people oh, yeah, right. Guns. Every other game is cliched like this. This is fucking cliched to the max. Oh, shut the hell up, Winky. Yeah, agreed. That's what Capcom does, let's face it. Oh, shut up. Stop I'm ruining this for me. Like all, all the yes, I'm enjoying it myself. I'm enjoying this. Oh, Crash Helicopter, yeah. Um, how many times have I seen that in a zombie movie? It's pretty original, but... It happens, like, twice in, le le in both. Twice in both Left 4 Dead games. That's I'm a pretty sure it game. happened yeah, right exactly. at the start of the first Resident Evil 2. Yes, it did. Why is it... It's I'm so assuming this is a callback to the first event. See, that's scary, because it's like one zombie and it's like confined space and shit. But it was a quick time event, so it ruined the scare. It's all quick time events. Look at this, look at it. Look at so it. If you that up, you should flare. And he crashed it anyway. Like, if this was a game, like, if this was a movie, I would watch it. But it's a Why game. Why the train the running? Series. As Dustin said, they're focusing more on story no, now than they do on scaring. On cinematics and eye candy. It, it if you say so, Link. And that's what's the story about this? Because well, this, they is... have to show cinematics because you're not playing. It's just action sequence to action sequence. There's no story. Well, yeah, it's just a, that's why they used more of a cinematic. I'm sure. You're not playing the game right now. They're just showing a trailer. That was all game. What was that downloaded yeah, yeah, content was I just seen up on the screen? Yeah, they, they, what is this? Settlers? Alex Reed. Settlers? Might be Settlers. Wreckity. Hey, oh, she's, oh, she's hot. And a pretty, yeah. Wreck something. It's called Worms. Sounds pretty rad to me. <laughs> And that's why I'm Wreck it here. here with everyone today. The exciting new title that it's not, not really the really connect to Xbox Live. Wreck it here. It's a connect title. Hey, She's getting ready to play. Yeah, yeah, it is sort of 3D Angry Birds. Yeah, that's what I'm feeling. All right, so to start, I just step up. No, don't be Angry Birds. No. It's going to be Angry no. Birds. Look, even all the way down to the green villains. Oh yeah. Oh fuck. This game looks good, oh, and then it just slowly got worse and worse. Oh no, it is Angry Birds. It is Angry Birds. No. Now it's Angry Birds. Oh god. Wait, is this Angry Birds? It's Angry Birds. Yep. It's, it's that, the same concept that Angry Birds stole off of, which is the castle crash. You and they, remember the they game. They changed the perspective, put a catapult on it, took the birds out. The Voila. green pigs are still in it. Your aim sucks, lady. Oh, oh god. They've even got it right down to, like, the individual birds are copied. Yeah, that was the blue bird that they just shot just then. Yeah. <laughs> I like how you guys are experts on casual games. I'm not. I do, because I play some casual. I do, I do more hardcore games, I guess, but there's nothing wrong with me. Oh, here's the yellow bird. Here's the yellow bird. I'm just watching her move around like a fucking idiot at the moment. <laughs> oh. It's fucking hilarious. It's more entertaining than it is. what's on the screen. I think that's the point of Connect. It's not supposed to be entertaining for you. It's supposed to be entertaining to watch the person that's playing it. 
If she was in my lounge room, I would walk up to her and slap her on the ass and go, You're hilarious, hon. <laughs> I'd do more than just that. Obviously, it would lead to something else. I was trying to keep it PG. Well, she was pleasant. And I'll she remove did, all uh, of yeah, the birds. But she did her job. South oh, Park. here's the South Park game. Oh, hey, now this, is, this has been interesting. Now with Connect compatibility. I've been wanting this game so bad. Me too. And the fact that it got delayed to next year. Guys, listen. Shh, Cartman's talking. Looks like an episode. Yeah, or a movie. Oh, nice. Alright, it's got Jesus in it. I'm sold. Yep, me too. This is the highlight of the entire conference. How does oh my this god, you game can summon, work? You can summon the E. Uh, it, it's an RPG. <laughs> it just looks so close to the cartoon, it's incredible. I know. Like, yeah. like, it looks like most of the attacks you can take like directly out of the bloody. Oh god, giant Clyde. <laughs> like, Holy shit. I like this. Most, most, all of the attacks are like things you can take directly out of the cartoon, which is pretty damn awesome. Oh my god, Trey Parker and Matt Stone are coming to the Oh, that's cool, oh, that's cool. I love you guys in this save. Conference save. Save this conference, guys. If I was if I was Phil, I would run up on the stage and I'd like to be able to watch I would grab their balls and put my penis in their ass. Dude, they're making fun of the all of Microsoft. That's amazing. <laughs> we love you. We love you guys. Thank you. Thank you so much. We got approached a couple of years ago to do a South Park game. That makes me feel better. Was if we we could make a game where it felt like you were in an mm. episode of South Park, and to do that, you know, you had to get the look right. It had to look like an episode of South Park, which was pretty crappy. <laughs> so <laughs> we worked with Obsidian. Well, Obsidian's code direct code developing. We wanted to do this, and you would not believe how hard, how much R and D, how many hours of work went into really making that distinctive crappy South Park look. But they did it. And um, they showed up at our office, they played a demo for Trey and I, and we started running around in like their common pattern, and it really looked just like the show. And then as we're, we're and then we started writing different things, and we, the, the play part was writing it and saying, okay, well then maybe you're here, and then you gotta go from Stan's house to Kyle's house. And after 15 years of doing the show, it was the first time that Matt and I were like, where is Kyle's house? <laughs> Like, we can always just cut to Kyle's house. And now for the first time we had to walk from Kyle, and then, okay, now we gotta go to the school. Where's the school? And um, so we've been spending a lot of time just for the first time mapping out- Well, hard to establish on a 2D paint, isn't it? But uh, yeah. creating a game where really you're the new kid that has moved into town and uh, you're trying to become the fifth of the four boys and be trying to become cool. And uh, just like every episode of South Park, we, um, we really uh, are doing it last minute, so we got to go work on it right now. Yeah, we're actually going back to the office right now to work on it. That's not a lot. So, thank you very thank much. Thank you very much. <laughs> well, that was pleasant. <laughs> That's brought a little bit of light to this thing. Mm. Harmonix. Dance Rock Central. Band. Oh no, dancing. Oh, uh, not more of this. Mm. Did we not learn from Guitar Hero's example? I called it. Yeah. Teach me how to Dougie with Dance Central Free. Doesn't that kind of already exist? Uh, yeah, let's have Usher tell us exactly. <laughs> Dance is central to who I am as an entertainer. Well, he even managed he to even promote himself. 
before. I can just show you myself. Check this out. Buy my album. Now they're gonna like make us watch someone play it, aren't they? Watch him play it. Oh crap, they got Usher to perform. That's all we needed. Fuck. Great. What does this have to do with Dance Central, though? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't even know anymore. Wait, maybe all that Adidas <laughs> shit paid for this. <laughs> what the hell, Microsoft? <laughs> I'm willing to believe that, actually. <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> the only well. breath of fr there's been two breaths of fresh air, and it's been micro. It's it's been it's Tomb Raider South and South. South uh, <laughs> why? 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 What is this conference evolved into? What is this conference for? The thing is, I can I can just picture Travis's face right now. <laughs> <laughs> so much hate. Oh. Travis would hate the shit out of this. And he's there, so that's... I, I just know Travis is so pissed off right now. Yeah. He would be. One of those lights shines into his eyes and he's just gonna be like, that's gonna set him off. <laughs> Man, like, we're pissed off right now and we're not even there. How does this even promote the game? I remember when yeah, he, he's not even I really dancing. I went to a, like a Microsoft event yeah. in Sydney, and it was and it was like, uh, oh, what's his name? MC Hammer was promoting uh, Facebook, like when it first came out on the Xbox, and I'm like, eh. Dance Central Three. Tell me, how does it differ from Just Dance Three? Well, it's got the it's got the Xbox logo on it, and Different it's for the Kinect. I wouldn't mind if this was like, maybe like a one minute act, but no. I, I really don't understand why they thought this would be a good idea to do any of this bullshit. Because I think maybe, well maybe they think that more of the casual demographic is tuning in than ever? No, only the hardcore gamers are going to be watching an E3 press conference. And just Microsoft had to have known that going into this. Poor decision, so this better not be their damn fin like what they're planning for their damn finale. Yeah, they're Usher. Oh. Why they Usher? Need something... They need if they want to salvage what they can of this, they need to wow us with something at the end, not this. Yeah, it needs to be the Xbox 7040 million. Oh, Usher, I love you. They've only got 13 minutes though. Yeah. So yeah, think of the presentation time for maybe like better. two more things, and that's about it. Well, if they didn't have so much of that fucking sports shit right at the fucking start. This whole conference is just a time I, I'm telling you, there's not going to be any kind of 720 stuff, because the amount that they've invested into showing off this new crap on the Xbox 360, they wouldn't think it would be worth it. What have we seen that actually matters that we haven't seen before? Uh, nothing. Uh, nothing. There's been no exclusive announcements. This like, isn't... I mean, like, there, there was some cool gameplay footage and some, like, cool announcements, maybe, like, with South Park and with Tomb Raider and whatnot, but, like, we already knew those were coming. Like, we, we knew last year that those games mm. were going yep. to exist. The only good thing about this so far has been the fucking Halo 4 gameplay. He's not even singing in his mic. He's it was lip all lip sync. Well, maybe that's just because we're lagged, but I'm pretty sure he's lip sync. No, I'm watching it. I'm watching it live on television, and he is. <laughs> Uh, yeah, yeah. I guarantee, I guarantee that applause is paused. That applause is overdubbed. Agreed. Fucking. Oh, Don. Hey again. What's going on, Don? He's about to end it. I'm sure. Yeah. Hope you You're guys sure. enjoyed the show. It was so good. Ah. Uh -huh. Thank you all for joining us today. <laughs> At Xbox, we're ushering in a new golden age of entertainment. Fuck your golden age. Oh, it's small. He's trying not to laugh at what he just said. He's like, this is bullshit. Even I don't believe it. Mm. <laughs> 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 
A time when you start every day with a Nike trainer. Who's echoing? This is literally me. me. Hold on. <laughs> My bad. It's when every TV becomes so good. next generation smart TV. And when producers, At this point. developers, and creators everywhere use Xbox, Connect, and Smart Glass to realize new visions for multi screen entertainment. And this is Jesus only Christ, how many screens do you need, Marshall? By showing you the exciting Eight, return of Master Chief and Halo 4. For each wall. And now, it's only okay, they're going to announce a blockbuster game. blockbuster game. A game yep. that's found its home on Xbox. It's better be damn and good. Once again, Perfect Doc 3. Perfect Doc 3. Perfect Doc 3. On Xbox 360. They didn't even make a proper. Uh, just, oh, they're just... hitting the black. Black Ops Two. Uh, I should say uh, I'm like ten seconds behind you guys. I think so. It's like I can't see what's going on. Black Ops Two. Oh, but we knew this was coming, and this is not going to be a hit game. Well, it'll be a hit game. It'll sell, obviously, but people won't like it. I fucking uh, called okay. it. I fucking called it. They opened last year. They opened with Modern Warfare Three and closed with Halo Four. This year, they just swapped them around. Fuck you, Microsoft. Fuck you. Oh, wait, there's somebody so, this whole so conference, we've seen nothing new. Like, nothing I don't worth. care. I don't care if Sony, like, Cat, gets a dog and is. shoots it on stage. It's gonna be more entertaining than this conference. This yeah. was, like, Microsoft's worst in years. Yeah, agreed. 100% agreed. Look how horrible the graphics in this game is. Look at me! I am a generic angry soldier, and I am... want you to survive. But obviously things are not going to. You're starting in a vehicle. Uh, do you think that it's gonna come under attack, maybe? Yeah, it's gonna blow up and fall on its side and shit. And, All like, these people die. Gonna come down and. Let's see, old man in a suit, you're gonna die. Old lady, you will get injured, probably. Um. This is what Menendez planned all along. Adam President. Or, or like, like a some way in front of them will fucking blow up and this one will be forced to stop. So wait a sec, how are you playing- how do you, how is this Mason guy still alive? Considering this meant to be 2020 son. something. That's whereas... the son of the character in the Black Ops 1. I want ah, to know I see. if- I, See, this is gonna be after the- like, chronologically, this should ta take place after the Modern Warfare games. What I want to know is like, is there any co- Oh, look at that! On his side! Oh! Called oh. it! Oh! Nice. <laughs> I want to know if there's any going to be like any continuity coordination between this bloody thing and like between the Treyarch games and the Infinity War yeah. ones. And even if there is, I honestly don't care. Yeah, I don't care either. They <laughs> more they more compete with each other than they even try to. Dramatic crawling and getting up. I here's an idea. Why don't you add Nazi zombies to the campaign? Why don't they just make oh, a yeah. zombies game? That would actually be interesting. The Nazi zombies game. Yeah, they got that. It's called Left for Dead. <laughs> He's he was walking into a wall. Yeah, we should walk like straight into the park. Dramatic and gunfire. falling vehicle, dramatic falling, dramatic climbing. This looks like you know, every like other Call of Duty direction here. <laughs> no, but this one's oh. in the future. Here, <laughs> this is like every other Call of Duty game ever, but worse. Oh look, no, you can use vehicles this time or turrets. You don't even target them; it just automatically locks on. You're really doing a then lot there. Then you press a button. Just like pointing it in their general direction. I don't mean to. I don't mean to seem uh, insulting, but it, this is just goes to further prove my idea that I think the Call of Duty games are just intended for the lowest echelon of intelligence. They're yes. designed for kids who will nag their parents to buy the next greatest war game. And but for those listening, cool. there's nothing wrong with you enjoying a Call of Duty game or whatever. But as but far as to, other, yeah, you have to yeah. acknowledge that lots of other people don't like it. Like the. Like, there's nothing wrong with it, like, graphically. Like, uh, I'll admit, like, the action... Dude, it looks like fucking ass. It, look, it looks pretty, but it, like, it looks <laughs> like it belongs in a CGI movie, to be honest. I wouldn't say it looks pretty, I would say it looks just, like, looks like it looks ass. what you'd expect it to look like. Yeah, it doesn't look, like, amazing, but it doesn't look shit. It's just... What do you mean? It doesn't My look shit. Is, like, it looks like it came out in 2007, that's how shit it looks. And it literally, did you just see that? It literally says snipe. It has to let you know to... S I'm sorry, but it's like... They make these games for the brain dead, it seems, anymore. Yeah, like I said before. Oh, you, I think... you look snipe! 
<laughs> yeah, it's, it's like this, uh, because picking up a sniper rifle is not already going to tell me that. I know. I remember Eager Raptor was doing a thing. Was, like, was like, making, oh, now you have to repel as well. Eager Raptor made like a little commentary about this before. Like, if you can't tell what the hell you're supposed to do, then you're not making a game. You're just making a bloody Literal. set of. I think me, they're me, letting me. you choose which one you want to do. Man, well, this he... reminds me of um, Black Ops 1, right? That mission where, like, you're in like Vietnam or something and you're like sliding down a hill and you get go through some trenches and shit and like there's this like fucking dam thing across like the side and there's like a staircase that takes you exactly to where you want to go minus the bad guys and this is the path the game tells you to go and then you go off the rails to try and get to this fucking staircase and then you get a fucking game over for not going the way the game wanted you to. I and you know what's really ironic about this? It's that they're showing off the campaign mode, and most people will not buy a Call of Duty for the no. campaign mode. Yeah, exactly. But why the, would you the, buy... This is meant to be in the future. This is like the most uninspired apocalyptic that's, future. That's a freaking it... railgun. You know what this is? This isn't even Call of Duty. This is Red Faction. Except mm. Red Faction was fun, especially Red Faction 1. Red Faction 2 dropped... Well, I know, all but all the weapons, all, all, all of like the bits and pieces, like it's it's all been... This is the, this is just going to further prove the monotony of first-person shooters. That it's all been done before. There is nothing unique about the genre anymore. Like Portal was the be was the closest breath of fresh air we had in the genre in quite some time. They should get back to arena shooters. Those were fun. This is like well, they, what they need to do is they need to make them more open for you to actually do what you want to do in a shooter. Besides yeah. staying on one straight path, fighting waves of enemies, moving to the next point, which is what they've all turned into. See, Dead Island had potential in that regard, but they just didn't execute it that well. Yeah, they sort of yeah. funneled you after a while. They sort of gave you the after idea that you could yeah. go anywhere, and then... Well, no. See, I was hoping to see something about Borderlands 2 in here. Yeah, that would have been way more interesting. I have a feeling that's going to be Sony's, because 2K are a lot closer to Sony than Agreed. they are to Microsoft. Agreed. Mm. This is yeah, just no, they've, like they've Black Ops, that, but more brown. It, this is a Black Ops game. Black Ops was pretty brown, man. Yeah, but this is Black Ops 2. I'm talking about Black Ops 1. Yeah, this is more brown. Now with more brown and bloom. Yep. I fucking hate how developers don't use bloom properly. It can be really used to enhance a very colorful game, but they're using it in games that have no color no, and just make everything look like ass. Oh, look at those AR drones! <laughs> oh my god, they are AR drones. They are too. The parrot ones. And he's got some bloody, like, Omni Tool blue thing on his wrist. So future. Oh my god. It's 2025, man. It's what not is... that far fetched for what they've got now. What is he scanning for? That's my question. What's that blue thing supposed to do? He's telling where the AR drones to go, I think. Oh. Uh, actually, yeah. Okay, that makes sense. So it's like, is, you, do this, you not want to shoot anything in your game? Tell this, these things to shoot this, them for you. This is the bloody <laughs> innovation. You remember how, like, last time they had... This is, this is what call, the developers are going to consider to be their big innovation. You can control little mini-vehicles to fight for you. Pretty sure it's been done a million times before. I know. See, that's like, why, time... back... The big comparison of, like, our war shooters from, like, ten years ago to today. It's like, I remember playing SOCOM 2, and you started, like, out at, out in the middle of nowhere. Yeah, it was kind of a linear path com in perspective, I guess, but you got to do what you want to get to where you would go. You didn't they have they to... hit the path better. Yeah. You know what? I just... I, I want the R rating to come in just so I can deny this to kids and kill the sales of this. Yeah, that seems like a pretty smart idea. And then you can recommend intelligent games, and... I... See, to to whoever I can, I, can, I try to recommend intelligent games, but... Like, uh... Like, and again, like, if you're an adult, uh, of, of you know, of over 18 years of age, and, you know, this is your kind of game, you know, all power to you, okay? Like, every, to each their own. But, the glo like, the over... You have to admit, this particular franchise is so over-glorified. It is. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's not, it's not a bad game, but it's just, it's not good. It's a mindless game. It's just, I have some mindless... It, it's ungraceful. That's what it is. Yeah. I wouldn't mind, it, like, it, if a Call of Duty came out. Why... Oh, go. go. Uh, just, I wouldn't mind if um, a Call of Duty came out, like, once every two years, and you had that, you know, mindless blockbuster game every two years, but every eight months. Come on. 
Yeah. Well, the thing is, Call of Duty has some brilliant stuff in it, but I think what the reason why a lot of us ex- are, are so bitter is because we know that 90% of the market out there, they, this is what they copy. The, or these guys are the leader. It hurts the industry. It hurts the Oh, genre. here we go. Vehicle yeah. section. Vehicle section. If, if they couldn't rip off anything from else, oh, they said, hey, remember how Battlefield had vehicles? Yeah, man. Why Battlefield had that one plane section that this. played exactly like this. By the way, you get to actually control the How them. innovative. But they'll call it innovation because they haven't done it with modern war, uh, with Call of Duty. They before. haven't done it themselves. It's innovative. Mm-hmm. All I'm expecting from this now is here, you know, also featuring Connect support. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm guarantee- I guarantee they'll throw it in. They'll shoehorn well, it in somehow. Activision already gives them content as it is, like early, so... Yeah. Even the people in the fucking sidebar are fucking complaining about Call of Duty. Mm-hmm. Call of Duty Black Ops Transformers. Yep. <laughs> Look at me, I'm piloting Starscream. Ooh. Is the game's music fucking up for anyone else? Yeah. 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 What kind of yeah. jet flies this slowly? Is this meant to be like a VTOL? It might be. I guess. It's a it's a 2025 jet, okay? But yeah, very it, it's slow like... pace. Saints Row made this seem more exciting. It's true. Saints Row made everything exciting. It's a mix of them that highlight enemies with the red, you know. God, 2012 you might really be the end of the world because this is if the, if the game is running out of ideas. Yep. Oh no, Michael Rooker's taking fire. This could be fun if this was like open sort of aerial combat instead of on rails. Because I really oh. like, you know, dogfighting games, so. Yeah. But it's on rails, so it sucks. The future is black, oh no. They should have closed this show with Tomb Raider. Fuck. They should have. Yeah, agreed. Yes. Okay. Why did they end randomly in that video? It was, didn't it just stop at random point. Is this all the gaming media just up and leaving? Is that it? Yes. Phil and I Trevor was really hoping that there would be something for. else just after that, but. Wow, that's that's the end of it. That God, was. There wasn't even like Microsoft. a closing. Statement or anything. It's just, hey, we're, we're finished now. Bye bye. Wait, is that's what it was. It, okay, that was really hello and goodbye. That was fucking terrible. The Black Ops thing literally ended mid video. What? For no reason. What is that? I, I don't know. This, I don't know what to think of this conference. I, I think this is the worst Microsoft have done in years. Look, look how quickly people are just like, gotta get the fuck out. <laughs> Travis is all. Travis is already back at the hotel. <laughs> just, just, just read the sidebar of comments on this. This, this, this is hilarious to read. Yeah, I was just it scrolling Matt, Matt and Trey Parker all... were bigger stars than Usher. Wrong crowd. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. Microsoft has really like not understood the audience here. There's too much sports, too much connect, not enough anything good. Any Usher is too much Usher. There wasn't even that much connect, really. I would have rather so seen much connect. what Every we've seen connect. last. What I mean is compared to last year and all that. But... That's true. Where the right. hell was Harry Potter connect? This... Weren't they like hyping it up massively before the event? Yeah, but it only I just think it got slammed so hard by the media they didn't want to embarrass themselves. But I, I think they did a good job with that today. Yeah, I think they did. Uh, what the hell was Usher doing there? And all the forced ad space they randomly had throughout. Uh, right, so I'm going to uh, go buy a PlayStation. Um, the Usher thing <laughs> was an ad, really, wasn't it? It was an ad for his new single. That's what it that was. By the way, I ca- by the way, um, no new Xbox console called it. Yep. Oh, God. Which means right, not one. After intri- that shit, an Xbox reveal at the end there would have done so much for them. No, it wouldn't have. Traditionally, what Xbox do, like does every year E3, like they generally announce the console and then release it like around the Christmas time, five or six months later. That's what they do. Is it? Though? Yeah. Oh, they um... That's what they, that's what they did with the Xbox original, and that's what they did with the uh, Xbox 360. <sighs> I 
It's, like the, it's just like, like the, everything they had looked like every other thing they have. <laughs> I don't know what. Nothing. There was not. There was nothing we hadn't seen. That there was nothing that unique. I was really hoping for a Bioware announcement out of that because Bioware is pretty damn clo- uh, Bioware is pretty damn close to. Everything Microsoft. I wanted to see was not shown. And the thing is, or like they had that South Park and Tomb Raider, which was good, but the, and then they brought the Angry Birds chick. They should have used her to actually just run the whole entire conference because she really did promote that game well, even though she even though it was a bad game. Yes, <laughs> even though it's just Angry Birds, she seemed really likable, so I liked her. Yep, but I liked her too. I liked her body. I would have been happy to have Matt and Trey run the whole thing. Oh, yes, yes. yes. I love, when I they love started going they, on. If they were emceeing, that, that would have been amazing. Yeah. Yeah, they would have actually made, found a way, like, if that was possible, to make that all of that dashboard crap seem interesting. Well, no, I think they would have just taken the piss out of it. That's what they would have done. Probably. That's probably why they would I know, but they would make it seem interesting by taking the piss. Mm. Uh, but they, they already did take Did y'all hear what they said? Connect yeah, your phone just... to your this, to your computer, to your this, to your this. <laughs> to your and oven. that's all we got to say. Yeah, yeah no, I, I, I do agree. Uh, I do agree with, with, the, with their little assessment things. So. All right. I think we should wrap this up. All right. Back again in six hours for Sony, yeah. Yeah, yeah. We, we got Ubisoft and EA. EA is doing something. We won't be doing a commentary for those, but... I'll probably watch, stay up and watch the EA one, but... um. Looks uh, like I'm going to be pulling in all-nighter. Likewise, yeah. I, got I, need to, I need to reset my body clock anyway, so... Like All righty. Well, let's okay, wrap this up. Far, uh, yeah. This has been our commentary of the Microsoft E3 2012 press conference. You can like us on Facebook <laughs> at facebook.com slash Capsule Computers. You can follow us on Twitter at Capsule Computer, no S. You can watch all our videos on YouTube, youtube.com slash Capsule Computers. That's it for us. See you on the next commentary. Play Which will hard. hopefully be better. Yes, hopefully it will be better. Play hard or don't play at all. Goodbye. Yeah. Adios. This is Spike signing out because I'm a glutton for fucking punishment. (laughs) See you. Laters.